I'm Christy Castellano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. The Syracuse Police Department still struggling to recruit, but new recommendations listed in a city auditor's latest report could help with hiring. News Channel 9's Ashley Kofaro has the latest to bring those numbers up. Protecting and serving the community is what Syracuse police officer Shaquille Muhammad enjoys the most. Honestly, I love my job. This is the best job I ever had. And it's like, even with everything going on in today's society, I wouldn't change it for the world. A six-year veteran now working patrol. From Washington, D.C., Muhammad says the killing of Michael Brown is what led him to choose a career in law enforcement. A lot of minorities were complaining about police brutality and, you know, a lot of issues that were arising with the police in the community. We go through a lot of issues just like everyone else, so there's really no barrier, no difference between us and the community, and it's like we all live and we learn. And not having enough officers continues to be a rising issue for the department. I'd say right now we're sitting at 54 vacancies, to be honest. To be fully staffed, the department needs 423 officers. Currently, they have 387. That includes 18 who are still in the academy, but that number could drop. I mean, in one year, just a few years ago, we had 57 people walk out the door and we put an academy of four on. So that's my biggest concern. That's what keeps me up at night. But a new report released by the city auditor could help improve the challenges SPD continues to face with a number of recommendations listed. I think some of the big ones is, um, is, are probably moving certain things out from under us that don't need to be there. And Chief Cecil says some of the recommendations that are listed in the audit report have already been implemented. We've advanced to the 21st century, I like to say, where we're actually not just going to a few events and asking people if they want to be police. It's all online now. It's all social media. Continuing to expand hiring efforts with hopes of recruiting more men and women in blue. In Syracuse, Ashley Cafaro, News Channel 9.